Hey everybody and welcome to my kitchen. What do you think of my spider themed makeup today in Feeble Widow's Peak? This was another wee idea that I'd had for around Halloween time, but as we know, Halloween is not just a day, it is a lifestyle. I used to make truffles a lot years ago and I haven't for a long time until quite recently when I thought, you know what, these are nice and they're not that hard. And I'd had this idea to make truffles that look like Black Widow spiders. I feel like this is a nice wee project for a spooky afternoon tea or maybe a party if you're wanting to make more of them or just something to do on a rainy day. They were relatively time consuming and a bit fiddly but they were quite fun to do. This is not terribly difficult, you do not need to have cooking or baking skills. Just some free time and maybe some friends that you want to creep out. So, start to finish, let's make Black Widow Spider Truffles. For this wee project you will need unsalted butter, dark chocolate drops, last time I used milk chocolate for this and it was painfully sweet so definitely use dark chocolate, cocoa, icing sugar, rum as usual and definitely better but as I haven't any I'm using vanilla essence instead, flavour some cherries, black fondant, red fondant, black card, any random bit of cardboard, glue, scissors and a pencil. I found a free to use spider image online, printed it out, glued it to a random bit of cardboard and cut around it to create a stencil. This was all a bit fiddly but I traced around the stencil onto a piece of black card and cut out each individual spider. If you're good at drawing, you could just draw spider shapes directly onto the black card. I've uploaded this image for you and you can download it on my website, link in the description below. I'm only doing six because like I said, pretty fiddly. I'm just following a standard truffle recipe I've used a thousand times when I was younger. It comes from the Edmunds Sure to Rise cookery book of which every household in New Zealand has a copy. First I'm melting 100 grams of butter and 100 grams of chocolate together in a pot, stirring gently until both are melted. Then with the heat off, I'm putting in half a cup of icing sugar. Then one teaspoon of cocoa and the rum or vanilla essence. Oops, that was probably too much. Oh well. Stirring it together and adding another half cup of icing sugar. I remember last time they ended up too buttery with the butter dribbling out and hardening. So I'm putting in another half a cup of icing sugar. There we are, that's better. It should be thick and firm. As it's cooling, I'm seeing butter leaking out anyway, so next time I'll use less butter, I think. But for now, I'll let it dribble out and avoid it when rolling the truffles. Using my spider stencil as a reference for how large they should be, I'm taking the mixture and rolling it into balls. I'm putting a cherry inside each one, then rolling the mixture around it so it's buried within. I suppose you could use fresh cherries for this too, maybe? Or glacé cherries might also be good. Then they go into the fridge to cool and harden. Ugh, so some butter did still dribble out and harden. I carefully scraped the buttery bits off with a knife. I've had very little experience with fondant and I've only ever had a hard time with it, but this fondant was particularly nice and easy to work with. I flattened out the black as thinly as possible and wrapped it over each truffle, then rolled it in my hands till it was as smooth as I could get it. The underside stays flat and doesn't have to look neat.
I then flattened out some red and carefully cut out hourglass shapes with a sharp knife. Maybe the red was softer than the black, but it was a wee bit harder to use. gently pushed each red bit on. Then I placed the truffles on top of the paper spiders. I think they look pretty cool. You don't even necessarily have to follow my recipe, you could just use this idea for some inspiration. Really because the truffle itself is concealed within its spidery casing, you could make it any flavour you like. It's really up to you. I always have to say this, I'm not that good at like baking and cooking and food related things. I serve merely to provide inspiration. <laughs> they turned out not too badly I think, I think they look quite cute, I think they would look very nice on a table next to some small sandwiches and other cakes and things and a bowl of creepy punch or a pot of tea. I guess all I have to do now is taste one. Sorry to all the uh, arachnophobes out there. I think these actually turned out pretty well. What do you think? Something that took this long and that much effort to make. I don't want to like destroy one by eating it, but that is what they're for. Sometimes things are beautiful and that they are temporary. Like a snowflake, but they look nice and creepy. <laughs> Should I eat the biggest, fattest one or the ugliest one? Sweet does not have sourest rind. I think I'll go for the ugliest one. Oh look, it's even stuck to the paper. So perfect. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine actually seeing a black widow that big in your house. That. We can't eat the paper, so peel that off. I expect it's going to be very sweet. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Definitely would have been better if I had rum or like a rum essence, but I don't. See the little cherry concealed inside? For an exciting little flavoursome pop. And I guess I ended up with a pretty good thickness. I didn't want the fondant to be too thick around it, so I'm actually quite, I'm actually pretty pleased with how these turned out. Mmm. Mmm. Got the cherry. Mmm. I was thinking of making some nice kind of baked thing to go around to all my neighbours, you know, just to be friendly. You think they'd appreciate those? Very proud of my wee creation. If you do ever make these, please post a picture to Instagram and tag me so I can see it, so I can come and be proud of you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I just enjoyed eating that big fat spider. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. You know you want to, that'd be very cool of you. As always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay sweet, and I will see you next time. Bye.